Hello everyone, here is Anna and today is Tuesday and today's video is going to be about six reasons why I decided to study in Germany. So if you're interested, let's get started. So as many of you already know, I've been studying in Germany for five years before I studied in Russia. So I only have experience um, studying in these two countries. Of course, when I talk about my experience studying here in Germany and when I see positive and negative sides of this studying, I can only compare it actually to my studying in Russia. But still, of course, I know a lot of things about studying in some other countries because it's a very multicultural society that we have here in Germany and I've heard a lot of different things from my um, colleagues and from other students about their previous experiences so I kind of can still compare. So the first reason why I study in Germany is quite pragmatic if I can say so and this reason is that education in Germany is for free for everybody and when I'm saying that it's for free I actually mean that it's for free. You don't pay anything for your education in Germany. Actually, it doesn't matter what you study, if you study music or something else. Um, as far as I know, there is only one state in Germany for now, and this state is called Baden-Württemberg. It's actually the state where I live, but because I don't study here, I study in another state, I still don't pay for my education. And the universities in the state, in Baden-Württemberg, they do take money from foreign students. As far as I know, they take 2,000 uh, euros per semester, which I think is still very, very affordable when you compare the education in Germany to some other countries like the US and the UK and maybe even some more countries uh, where the education is not for free. So for German citizens it's still for free, even in this state, but for foreign students, as I said, um, there is some fee and as far as I know there is also the University of Music in Leipzig, they also take money from um, foreign students, but the rest of Germany um, is completely free for everybody, it doesn't matter from which country you come from. The only one thing what you need to pay here in Germany, again, doesn't matter what you actually study, it's a, a so-called semester fee, but it's not the fee for the education, it's the fee that includes um, different small payment as, for example, it pays your semester ticket and you can travel for free on regional trains, on buses, um, inside of your uh, state where you study. And this semester fee is between 150 and 300 euro per semester. So um, per year you pay from three to 600 euro. And that's it. Your education is completely paid by the state of Germany. The second important reason why I study in Germany and I guess why many other students choose Germany as their a place to study is because of the equality. When I am saying equality, I basically mean the same rights and the same attitude from the university to any student, doesn't matter from which country they come from. And here I have to explain something. For example, how the system in Russia looks like. When you do an audition to the school, there will be one competition for Russian students and a completely different competition for foreign students, which actually makes it even more difficult for Russian students to study, because usually the education um, in Russia for in the music universities is for free, but there is a huge big competition and they do take quite big fees from the foreign students. Um, on one side and on the other side there is almost no competition for them at least in the most of music universities. So here in Germany it's completely different. Basically everyone is in one boat and when you do entrance exams 
everybody, doesn't matter from which country you come from, from Germany or from any other country in the world, we do the entrance exams all together, which makes it, of course, much more difficult even for German students, I would say, because, uh, and I guess German students will agree with me on this point, uh, because the a kid's music education, as I already talked in some previous videos, here in Germany is not as good as, for example, in Eastern Europe, in Russia, in the previous uh, Soviet Union and as in Asia. So it makes uh, things even much more difficult for German students, but still they don't have any privilege. Uh, during the entrance exams. And when we study, we are also all in one boat. Uh, professors, I would say at least that's from my feeling, I don't see them making any privileges for German or for students from any other countries. And I think this rule just makes everybody feel in the same musical boat and everybody, I hope at least, and that's how I feel, is very comfortable, everybody has the same rights and um, I think this just makes studying music much more enjoyable as it is, I would say, in Russia where we even have sometimes different groups of Russian and foreigners uh, students and for example it's much more difficult for um, foreign students to learn uh, the Russian language because they're almost never around Russian students because they go to lectures very often in their own uh, groups and here we are all together, it doesn't matter if your German is really um, good or not yet, you're always around some Germans and of course it also helps to learn the language very fast. Another reason why I study here is connected with previous reason and this is multicultural society. So I personally do really enjoy and I think it is so much important that you study together with students from all over the world, that you learn so much about their culture, you basically have a possibility to practice different languages if you study any and um, it's also a good motivation to learn different uh, languages. You learn so much about how the studies and the musical life in different countries um, is and I just find it so fascinating and like basically your personality changed completely and I just think this is amazing. Another reason why I study in Germany is I personally actually don't use this possibility and I don't think I will use it but for some other students I see that it's basically one of the best things that happen to them during their uh, studies and this is so-called Erasmus semester, like an exchange semester that they're allowed to spend in any other country in uh, Europe, as far as I know, or maybe even somewhere outside of Europe, but at least definitely in one chosen country in Europe. And I think they can take up to two semesters. And I just think this is like, I don't even need to explain why is it amazing. It's a wonderful possibility to try to fit in in another culture and a wonderful possibility to study in another school with another professor without uh, quitting your previous uh, schools. So after this Erasmus semester they are always allowed to come back and to finish their education and uh, this is just one of the main reasons actually why the countries in Europe um, are connected as the society says, I've heard this many times, that Erasmus semesters just bring so much for the experience of the students and I also think it's wonderful for uh, musicians. Another great reason to study in Germany is possibilities and connections that you get during the uh, studies. And I don't say that in other countries you don't get any of this, of course you do, but at least for me it feels like you have much more uh, possibilities here in the middle um, of Europe, at least for the musicians, I would say for sure for the musicians and um, also th what I feel is very different here that 
you are not really taken as a student, as a musician, if you are playing on a good level. So even being a student, you can already have good concerts if you have good connections and you are very well paid for your concerts comparing to other countries. And I just think this is a wonderful thing. And you get so many connections also because of the multicultural uh, society and your surroundings inside the school that brings you to some other countries and doesn't lock you inside your country where you study. The next reason why I study in Germany is because the education is very much concentrated on music subjects. And here I have to explain to you something. When I studied in Russia, and I guess the system is the same in um, all the post-Soviet countries, um, during our university education, we have a lot of lectures where we don't only study music subjects as, for example, theory, harmony, music history and many other music subjects that you're supposed to do in the music university, but we also study ethics, economics, law, philosophy, a little bit of everything and for some people this may seem like super cool and interesting. And on the first place it does seem very interesting. The problem is that um, I personally did not enjoy any of these subjects, uh, mainly because of one reason. Uh, the good professors, they don't want to go and to work for the universities where, let's say, if it's a a professor of philosophy, they don't want to work in the music university because philosophy is not one of the main subjects there. And usually they take the professors of, let's say, not such a good level and they put them to such universities where you just, you know, like study a little bit of everything besides of your music subjects. So the idea is good, but their realization is completely awful. So for me personally, this is a big, big plus that I don't have any of these subjects in the music university here in Germany. If I'm interested in any other subject, I will go and study it by myself or maybe I will take some courses, um, which is completely fine. I think for some people this will be like a minus, but for me personally it's a big plus and I enjoy that I don't waste my time on anything besides of um, what is really important for my career and for my music education. And also I get some more free time to prepare for my concerts, to prepare for my career, to prepare for competitions, to do something else on the top of what is required to do in the university, but in the field of my um, job. Another reason why I study here is freedom and activities inside of the school. So these two are connected, I'll explain now why. So first of all, what I really enjoy here that you have um, freedom and the choice of subjects that you would like to study, which we never had in Russia. When I heard about this thing, I thought, wow, this is really cool. So of course there are some obligatory subjects that depending on your instrument uh, you have to study but also I would say like probably 40 to 30 percent of subjects um, you can choose depending on what you are mostly interested in and I thought this is really cool and uh, the activities inside of the school which I uh, mean basically that you can do different sports for a very small fee, different courses, you can also play a lot of concerts inside of the school, you can basically just book a hall for any projects that you would like to do, of course the hall will be for free for you as for a student and you can play so many solo recitals, not in every school, like I study already in Germany in two schools and in Weimar, where I studied before, it was much more uh, easy to do. You could book a hall basically for 
any day um, that is not yet booked like for the school projects you can book it for yourself and do there basically whatever you want if you want to do a recording they will record for you whatever you need for any competition or just for yourself if you want to do a solo recital they will do it for you and do advertising also for you and in the school where i study now it's a little bit more complicated but it's still possible and i think this is wonderful and really helpful for the students and the last reason why i study in germany is probably the main reason why we in general play the music and it's the public so i should say i have an experience performing in different countries almost all over the world and i've never seen such an educated passionate and thankful public as in germany so when i mean educated the public in germany was probably the first public that I've seen that knows already that you don't supposed to applause between the movements in the symphony or in uh, instrumental sonata, which was a big shock for me because in any other countries where I've been before, at least as far as I remember, they always applause. I don't see anything wrong actually with that because if you don't know you just want to give the musicians the applause that they probably deserve. But it's nice to know that Germans know already about this. And basically they are, of course, not professional musicians. And when I'm saying thankful, I should say that it almost doesn't matter what you play in Germany. Almost always you get like the second call uh, to the stage and another portion of applause which is very nice like in russia we don't have any of this um it's usually all always just for the last um performer or for the last piece in the concert that they will um call you maybe a second time but here in germany sometimes they call you like four five six times and they ask you for more and more encores which is the best thing for a musician just the public that is thankful after the concert and i also noticed that the public tries to be really quiet during the concert which I mean, I don't want to be mean about any of other countries and I guess it's also, it's not probably the most important thing that the public is quiet during the concert, but it just makes playing for the performer so much more enjoyable and nicer. So yes, I guess that's it and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm not trying now to make like an unrealistic, beautiful picture of studying in Germany, of course. Uh, nothing is perfect and the studying in German has um, its own uh, pluses and minuses and if you are interested in minuses I can also record a separated video for that but for me personally there are so much more pluses and I'm actually very very thankful for a um, possibility to study in this country and I really like Germany in general and I do enjoy studying here a lot. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was somehow interesting for you and see you in the next one. Bye guys.